Hey everyone, my name is Joel Hansen. I want to welcome you to the first Monday mukbang, mukbang, whatever you want to call it. We're going to have a great visit and I'm going to enjoy some delicious looking pineapple. I then will also dive into some chicken legs that I have here as well. I don't know if you can see it, but it's steaming. But just look at this delicious looking, crisp, lovely pineapple. Pineapple is one of my favorite fruits. And uh, while I take my first bite, I want to ask you, how's your day been so far? Tell me, I'm listening. Mm. So good. This is so good. But thank you for sharing. First off, I want to start by saying that you are loved. You are accepted. You are a valued human being. And I hope somebody's told you that today. Because I appreciate you. Mmm. It's just pineapple. Oh, it's just dripping. Just this juicy, succulent pineapple. Mmm. It's so ripe. Mmm. 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 So here's one of my favorite. One of my favorite fruits. That you probably, I think it's my favorite. A ripe pineapple just can't be beaten. Ah, so good. I love tropical fruits. There's some other fruits I really love, like blueberries. Some crisp, you know, blueberries. And oh, I also love some mangoes. So good. Here I have just the rind, the rind of the pineapple. But I actually like these. Some people don't eat them, but I eat them. Mm. Because the chili is pretty good. It's just fibrous. Chewy. Mmm. Mm. Oh. It's... I'm, this is just my favorite. I just... I love pineapple just so much. Mmm. And like I said, these are so sweet. I buy them. I ripen them. This past week, I got all these pineapples actually on sale. So I bought 10 in two different batches, two different shopping spurts. And I've been eating one a day and it's just so good. Like, oh, so good. Fun fact, mm. pineapples ripen from the bottom up. So the pieces you get from the bottom of the pineapple are going to be riper than the pieces you get from the top. Because of that, you have to be very careful when ripening your pineapples because you don't want the bottoms to start to rot. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. That's how you do it. Mm. So when you buy your pineapples, buy a few that, look, I cut the top off this one. I cut them off both, to be honest. But buy a few that when you smell the bottom, don't really smell anything. They don't smell like pineapple. They don't smell, smell sweet. And then buy a few, if you can, that smell sweet and smell like pineapple. Because if you can smell pineapple on the outside, it's ripe on the inside. Now, if you notice your pineapple is squishy or it smells unpleasant on the bottom, maybe a little rotten, mm. Don't buy that one. Because then it's rotten on the inside. Mm. Mm. I love it. Mm. 
Pineapple is a very acidic fruit too. Um, after about a week of eating one a day, I know it's the size of my mouth burn a little bit, but it's still worth it. I love it. I always eat the lighter parts first. Which are the parts from the top of the pineapple. That way when I eat the ones in the bottom, which are the sweeter parts, I've already had the not as sweet parts. So these ones taste even better. Whereas you eat these ones first, which are sweeter, these won't taste as sweet. My favorite. So, I think it's about time I eat my chicken legs because they're gonna get cold. But we'll return to this pineapple, don't worry. So what I do is I take a bit of barbecue sauce. This is just a sweet Alabama barbecue sauce from a place called Camp 31. It's a nice little barbecue spot. I actually like them a lot. They're a great restaurant. I'm a big fan of supporting local. I make a little pile on my plate. And then I take some Louisiana style hot sauce and I put it on top of the barbecue sauce. A nice pile of it. About equal to the barbecue sauce. And I take a fork. Mm. 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 which in this case tastes like pineapple and I mix them up, mix them together. So I have this lovely hot sauce, this barbecue sweet tasting sauce, mm. Mm. my favorite. And then I can eat my chicken legs. In this case these are roasted chicken legs. Mm. Dip that in there. So it looks like all sauced up. Just. Mm. Mm. Love the flavor. I take the skins off my chicken legs. And my chicken. It's out of preference. I'm going to take that off the bone. Mm -hmm. I'm take my piece of chicken, dip it in that sauce. Mm. Great flavor. You get the hot sauce. I'm also a big fan of you with my hands. Sorry, everybody. Get that hot sauce in there. A little bit of sweetness from the barbecue sauce. Mm. Like to get it all nice and coated up. So it's just absolutely smothered in it. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Got that bone. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ah. Damn good. Like I'm just gonna rip the bone right out of this one. There we go. Pretty good with my hands, my mouth, I do say so myself. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Okay. So please. If you like this style of video, let me know down below. Let me know if you'd like to start seeing mukbangs, mukbangs, or even better, if you'd like to join me for dinner on Mondays. Because mm. I appreciate you. So glad you're joining me today. Mmm. 
Because, yeah, I mean, today's pineapple and chicken, but who knows what tomorrow could be or what it could bring. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like plates. I'm sorry, everybody. I like them. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Ooh. That way I get all that delicious barbecue sauce, that hot sauce. Mm. Mm. It's perfect. Now back to my lovely plate of pineapple. Mm. <laughs> like I said, I left the best pieces for last. By the way, I'm going to show you how I easily prepare a pineapple mm. from one just like this into this. Ooh, I left those good pieces for the end. Ah, mmm, mmm, ah, mmm. You are so beautiful to me. Pineapple, can't you see? Mmm. 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 I don't think your taste buds. Mmm. Mmm. I tell you, a ripe pineapple is like intimate level. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Mm. Oh boy. Mm. So good. Man. Mm. Mm. So I'm so glad to see the world is starting to open up after the pandemic. We're still very locked down where I am, but. How about you? I'm listening. How's it where you are? Are you still locked down or maybe you're having some reopenings? Certain things? Tell me, what's open around you? Hmm. Thank you for sharing. You know, I, I hope, like I said, things, you know, get opened up everywhere. I'd love to see, you know, restaurants open again. Mm. And the gyms, oh, I've been in the gym in so long. Some, some events. Some sports. Some shopping. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Should I do it? Let's do it. We're going to slurp or drink that juice up. Tastes like a pineapple. I love it. Mm. Mm. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me for dinner. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Definitely give this video a like. And hopefully we'll be seeing you on a Monday soon enough. So, Monday mukbangs. Let me know. And if you want, let me know what kind of food you'd like to see me eat. So that everybody, thank you so much. Hope you had a lovely evening, and I look forward to dining with you next time. Be a guest, be a guest. I'll eat the pineapple and the rest. And today I'm gonna show you how to prepare a pineapple. I just have my pineapple here. I did just cut the top off, but I'll show you guys the rest of it. Just one cut off the top, 
and I'll show you how to prepare a pineapple very easily and efficiently. First, take the pineapple. I'm using a plate, but if you have a cutting board, etc., it does the same purpose. You're going to then take a chef's knife or a sharp knife, and we're going to make a cut directly down the middle. Just like this. Once we have the pineapple in two halves, we're then going to rotate it with the cut on the side, and we're going to make another cut, so it'll be in quarters. Now you have your pineapple in four quarters. From there, just because I have limited room, I'm going to take those two off the plate. I'm going to take one of our quarters and I'm going to make a cut down the middle. Um, something I usually do, so it depends on the pineapple, I should, I should have with this one. Just also cut the ends off, do this before. So cut the ends off before. Or I guess you can do it after, like me, if you forget. Just a quarter of an inch or a centimeter. Whatever you like. So now we have our quarter. We're going to make a cut right here. You'll be able to see where the core is. The core, you'll be able to see it a little different from the rest of the flesh. We're going to make one and cut right down the side to take off the core. So now what you do with the core is up to you. It is very fibrous. You can eat it. Some people don't. I eat them. From there with your quarter and the center off, you're going to cut it again. Right down the middle into an eighth. Just like that. And now from here, we're going to use our knife to cut down the flesh, to cut off the rind or the skin in a very easy and swift motion. So we're gonna put up like this, and in one motion I'm gonna go down and cut the rind right off. Let me show you. So I have the knife, I put it on the pineapple just like this, and if the pineapple is curved, you're gonna curve it, and if the pineapple is straight, you're gonna go straight down. I'm going to take it and just go right down like that. So in one swift motion we have the skin with very little waste. And we have a beautiful looking piece of pineapple. So now I'm just going to repeat that for the rest of them. Again you cut just down like that. You have a beautiful piece of pineapple. From there I just cut it like this and do it as few or many pieces as you like. Note the top of the pineapple is going to be lighter in color, less ripe. Not quite as sweet. So eat those pieces first. Whereas the bottom of the pineapple are going to be darker in color, sweeter. Mmm. All those are tastiest. Eat those pieces last. And if you're sharing, Keep those pieces. And that is ultimately how you prepare pineapple. I'm just going to do the same for the rest of it. So good. And then the finished product. Beautifully delicious cut pineapples.